What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Junior here, bringing you another great video to the channel. If this is your first time here, guys, remember we do a lot of tech review, game reviews, product reviews, and a whole bunch of other different things on this channel. So yeah, I suggest you don't miss out on things here. And what you do with that is make sure you hit the subscribe button, enable bell notifications, so you get notified every time we drop great videos like this one or whenever we go live. Because trust me, guys, you never ever want to miss out. All right, guys, and also, Make sure you like all my videos, share my videos, and comment on my videos because it helps the channel grow out more. The more people know about us, the more they know. Just as much as you're learning, they're learning as well. All right, so today, as you see, we're outside. Uh, this is not such a great video, but it's one, like an awareness video. As you see right here, this is my pickup right here. This is a Toyota Tacoma pickup truck. It's one of my other cars because my other cars right there. That's the Honda S2000. My Silver Buddha and my Silver Surfer is right here. That's what I call them. <laughs> um, so it is a couple of days after Christmas. Uh, what happened to me was on Christmas Day. It happened to this truck right here. So Christmas Eve, we celebrate. I come home. The car's fine. Car's parked. Everything is perfect. The next morning, I wake up on Christmas Day. Mind you, this is Christmas Day, guys. You've seen this video on a Saturday, which is the 30th, right before New Year's. Um, you'll get another video from me for New Year's, but for today, we're gonna talk about my sad moment with this car. So, Christmas Day, wake up, I gotta go take care of some stuff. As soon as I get in the car, turn it on, my start, car starts rumbling hard. I'm like, what's going on? That's not normal. And it didn't click on me right away. But as soon as I rev the motor, I realized what happened. Somebody cut the catalytic converter out of my car. And I'm obsessed about that. So today, because I finally got the part in, I'm gonna go ahead and fix it. So you say, what do you mean cut the catalytic converter? A lot of people cutting catalytic converters because to make money. But the thing is, these people that cut my cut, my car converter were little kids they were kids guys when i say kids they were young kids they were maybe in the 20 21 my neighbor had a ring camera like a actual outdoor camera that was pointing in that area over there but because they tried to do it to my one of my friend's cars that he parked down down there they and i saw the kids they came up to my car carrying the car converter they went over there and tried to take his but then i guess something spooked them and they took off but they were like 20 year old kids Okay, but the thing what I'm saying, they did the dumbest thing because on this car, the cat is by the main manifold. It's like the manifold comes out of from the engine block and the cat's right underneath there. And the rest is all piping. What they saw on the bottom of it that looks like a cat converter was like a extended pipe. I want to say like an expanded pipe section to, I guess, diffuse the sound. I don't know what that expanded part, but the cat converter was never stolen. It's still up here. And I am going to show you what they did, how what they did to my car underneath, because I could go underneath with the camera and, and be able to see. Hopefully there's enough lighting, because I'm trying to do this as fast as possible, because it's getting dark pretty soon. But I did want to show you, and then I'm going to let you hear it, how, I know, how it sounds now, and then I'm going to let you hear it after I fix it. And I'll show you the parts I got and everything, all right? So let's go underneath my car and show you how it looks underneath, all right? I will be there in a second. All right, guys, normally the pipe, you're going to see it right there. Let me see if I can get, okay, you see the pipe there normally is there. And then if you go further, you see it got cut off right there. Look, it's been cut right there and the whole pipe is gone underneath here. And then if you go over here, under this side, you see where they cut it off. Hopefully I can show you. Right there, they cut it off. I don't know, cause the angle is pretty bad. I'm sorry guys, but that's what it looks like. That's what they cut off, all that is empty, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that. So let me go ahead and get back out here and let you hear how the car sounds. All right, guys, so right now we're in my car. Right now it's off because you, as you can see, you can't hear it. And if you look at my dash, it's all off. I have it off because I do want to show you how it sounds. Sorry for the light, there's not that much light. It's getting, like I said, it's getting dark out now and I wanted to do it. So now I'm, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn on the car. All right, so I'm gonna put the key in the ignition as you put it in and I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, didn't give me enough gas, hold on. You see how it sounds? 
That's not how normal how it sounds supposed to sound normally. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go over to my garage and I'm gonna go ahead and fix this because this needs to be fixed today. At least before Monday because my wife gets back goes back to work on Monday and she's the one that drives this car. And it is what it is. So I got the part as soon as I get to my garage, open my garage. Because I do have a garage inside my neighborhood, which is a good thing for me. I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got. And then we'll take it from there. And my garage is not far from the from the house. It's, a, it's the other, on the other side of the road. On, on a, like maybe four or five houses down. It's an external garage from a different building. That's the only problem I don't like about this neighborhood. But I'm at my garage. As you see, I drove to my garage. That is my garage there. And I'll see see you when I get it set up inside and show you what I got and what we're gonna do all right all right guys so we're in my garage as you can see it's a bit it's a bit mess I got some storage stuff here and my, my old 3d printers there um, I got car parts on top got a bunch of other car accessories that I can use for this car my Honda uh, all my tools are in here as you see it's a big box it's a big boy um, my ender 3 my 9 and the 3, my K1 Max 3D printer box is there. And that box right there is the piece that I need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the box and show you what I have here. I'm going to put the camera down on my car here. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. All right. All right. So I'm going to bring it up here. And hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. And take it from there. Because I do have it all zoomed out. I have a little bit of light here. It's not that big of a light. So I do have razor blades here. Hopefully I didn't cut myself. Okay, so now I'm just gonna unbox it. Cause this is, this is not a real unboxing that I wanna do. It just, it is what it is. All right. Damn, this is sharp. This blade is sharp as hell. All right. So this is the part that's gonna be replacing it. Right here. This is what they cut off. And what they did is they cut it from right here on this one right here, they cut it right here. And on this end, they cut it on the inside. So like about right here. So lucky for me, they didn't cut it on this side. They couldn't cut it from this side, but I'm just glad on this side, they didn't cut this whole side off. So this is the whole thing right here. It's a pretty big piece that's missing, as you saw underneath. I'm gonna take you underneath again with a light and show you what's, how it looks and show you what everything's gonna be like. It's very simple to do. And uh, we hope this fits and this is exactly what I need. And let's hope for the best. All right, see you in a second. As you see, that's where they cut it off. I don't know you can be able to see it, but up there is my catalytic converter. So they cut it here before the the O2, after the O2 sensor that's right there, that's one of the O2 sensors. There was another O2 sensor that goes right here. As you see, it's cut off here. It goes right here that they just ripped off. And I have no idea where the wire went because I, I saw the wire hanging when they did it. And I got to make sure I remove that O2 sensor wire. Oh, it's right here. Right here, they ripped it off right here, guys. Look at that. So if I take this O2 sensor out, this thing here. It's hard to do with one hand, but that's where they cut it off. See, as you see, that's my old two sensor that got cut off from there. And all this pipe leads to right there, guys. That's where they cut it off. So what I gotta do is take it off from here. Oh, see, and they, and they cut off my bushing. That's gonna suck. That really is gonna suck because I need that bushing. So now I have to go buy another bushing because they just cut the bushing off. They didn't even rip off the thing. So I didn't even realize about doing that. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna unbolt it from there, which I have power tools. And then I'm gonna unbolt it from here and then take care of it. All right, so I'm gonna do this one first because this one seems to be a little bit easier. I'm gonna point the camera up and hopefully you guys can see everything while I do it and we hope for the best I'll be right back 
All right, so I got the socket right here. It is a 14 millimeter socket, and there's two sockets right on top of here. So I'm just gonna unbolt it right here. Hopefully this will be easier when I actually take it, put it back on, because taking it off will be easy. Okay. So So obviously it is a lot harder than, than with this racket here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the breaker and I'm gonna do it by hand. All right, so what I'm gonna do is put it up here. Hopefully I have enough space down here so I can go ahead and actually take this off. This has been never taken off since the day I got the car. Since the day um, it actually was my infractor. Okay, I just had to break that style. And of course, battle wounds right there, guys. Look at that, battle wounds. I got a cut right there. I just had to break the seal of it. Once you break the seal, you should be good. All right, let me, oops, that one popped off. For some reason, this, this extension doesn't have a, like a lock. Oh, it does, but I don't, it's not working. So I'm gonna put it back up there again. And that's what I need to do, just break the seal. So now, I take off the breaker. I can use this, and now I can take it off. All right, since that's not working properly, I'm gonna go with the big guns. See, cause you see how big this one is, right? It's a pretty smaller one, but since I have a half drive one that's actually much bigger and more powerful, as you see the big boys right there, this is the small one and this is the big one right here. Big difference. So I'm gonna use the big boy. Luckily, good old Mac tools come in handy. I'm gonna do the bottom one first over here. Oh, no, no, not turning on. As soon as I, as soon as I grip, the came right off. And I'm gonna do the other side as well. Since I broke the seal. And it's hanging now. So now, as you see it's hanging there, what I'm gonna do is, is go ahead, pull this. And take it out this way, cause I can't reach the, the cable on top right now. I'm making my life a little bit difficult here. So I took out the O2. There you go. Now what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take that one off now. This one right here should be the same concept. All right, so. I wanna take this off. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it off and put it all back together and I'll show you the aftermath because I'm not gonna bore you with this whole process here because I'm gonna be wasting my time trying to film it and do this at the same time. So I'll come back and show you how everything looks, all right? All right guys, so as you see, I put the new pipe. I attach it here, it's tying real tight. I bolted it all on and it looks good. Bring it up to the other side so you guys can see. All bolted on. It's a little bolt up there. That shit got stuck on there for some reason. I took it out, it came out perfectly, but when I put, the, put it back in, it broke. So I should have used the new screws, but I used the old ones. So now I gotta tap that one now. I'm not gonna do it today. Should work just fine. Um, luckily for my O2 sensor that I have connected there, there's a tap on there, so I have it covered. 
until I replace the O2. And then once I replace it, I'll be all set. But as you see, it's all put in now. It's late, it took me about an hour and a half to do. But as you see, it's all nice and done. I gotta get a rubber garment because when they stole it, they cut it in half right here so they could take it. So half of it is on, I threw it over here on the side and the other half is right there. Uh, so now let's lower the car, clean this up and see how it sounds. All right, I'll be back in a second. All right guys, so the moment of truth, I haven't turned it on, I just have it in accelerating mode. But I haven't turned it on, I'm gonna turn it on and see how it sounds. Oh my God, I got a normal car. Now look, I'm revving the motor. Oh my God, sounds so nice now. Sounds like a no more car, guys. But I think I got, oh no, I didn't get a check engine light yet. It's because I don't have a, O2, a secondary O2 sensor plugged in. So it's very, uh, actually, because it's very, actually very normal. But it sounds beautiful, guys, beautiful. Now, am I upset that it happened? Yes. Um, when it happened, I wish harm on them. Whoever did, I wish them the worst that could happen to them. But as me being, uh, I'm a Christian, I beg God for forgiveness on that part because I shouldn't will, I shouldn't wish ill on anybody. I don't know what those young boys were wrong with them at that point, but was, I was very upset at the time, and I just took out frustration. I wished them ill at the time. I wished them ill, and I take that complete bag. I beg God for forgiveness. I know some of you might not be religious. Some of you might will. But for myself, I beg for forgiveness and maybe they did it for a reason that they needed to have it done for themselves. For whatever reason they had to do it. I I don't know what the reason was. They had to steal and do stuff like that. Um, but I hope they find the right path in life and take care of themselves. And I hope they stop doing this because it does hurt people, not financially only, but emotionally because me, it hurt me financially, it hurt me emotionally, because it is what it is. Luckily, I'm good with my hands and I can fix the cars easily myself. So that's never been an issue with me. But emotionally, it actually messed up my mom because Christmas Eve, somebody broke into my sister's car and stole stuff. So Christmas Eve, they broke into her car. Christmas Day, they, bro they broke into my car and stole the catalytic converter. So, whoever you guys are, um, karma is a bitch. I'm just going to say it like that. And it will come back to you in one way or another. But it's not going to come from me. I wish you no harm. I hope you be, be in a better place in the near future for yourselves. Because trust me, guys, you continue going down that path. It's not going to lead you to the right future in yourself. So... But anyway, guys, I do thank you for anybody that watched the whole video, went through this whole process with me on fixing my car. I hope you guys learned something uh, and see what happened. And take it as a lesson. Learn how to do stuff yourself because something like this would have cost me about, I want to say about $1,000 or more to fix at a shop. But me, take two hours of my time and about 150 bucks. I fixed it myself. You know, I am dirty. I can see this hand too is filthy, but that comes with working on cars. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video and I have to add to today, go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up. Show me all the love and support that you guys show me. Also, don't forget to hit that share button because sharing is caring. And we want to make sure that everyone's aware of everything we do on this channel. So don't miss a thing just like you're not missing now. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put them in the comment box down below. And I'll get to you as soon as I can, when I can, as fast as I can. And if you still haven't done so to the end of this video, guys, hit the subscribe button and enable bell notifications so you get notified every time we drop great videos like this one or whenever we go live. And that's it for today, guys. Until next time, I'm out of here. Peace. <music>